Hello, this is Tom from Vino 100 located in Newburgh, New York with your video wine tip of the week. Today I want to talk about wine and food pairing. There's a number of factors you have to think about when pairing a food with a wine. Um, first off, you really want to think of the power of the meal. You don't want to, you don't want to have a light dish paired with a super heavy wine or vice versa. You want to match power with power. You don't want the wine overshadowing the flavors within the food, nor do you want the food overshadowing the flavor of the wine. Secondly, you want to think about how the the food's going to be prepared. It's going to be prepared in spicy quality, it's going to have a cream sauce. Those are a couple of factors that you would need to think about when you're choosing your wine. And then lastly, you want to think about whether you want the wine to complement the dish or to contrast the flavors of the food. So let's, uh, let's start off with a classic dish, a nice big steak prepared with a nice spiced rum. A great example of a wine that would go good with that is a nice big bold spicy Shiraz. Uh, something that's rich and creamy, has some tannin to stand up to the uh, fat that's present in the steak, but also a nice spicy finish that would complement the spice rub on top. This is the Nugan Shiraz that I carry. It's 12 bucks, unbelievable value. It's delicious. It's 89 in the Wine Spectator, and it's a great buy for 12 bucks. Next I want to talk about is, say if you have the same dish, same steak dish, but it's prepared with a mushroom sauce. Again, you want a nice big bold wine to stand up for the flavors of that steak, but also you may want to think about maybe having a big bold wine with an earthy quality to it. Uh, a great wine that I have or that would pair well with that dish is a nice Chateauneuf de Pop. It's highly concentrated. It's from the Rhone Valley, France, but it has a nice earthy finish to it, as many French wines do, and the earthy finish will complement the earthiness in the mushroom sauce. Say if you have a chicken dish, a chicken dish prepared maybe in a butter sauce, or you could even uh, pair the same wine with a uh, lobster tail with butter sauce, something rich. You want a nice rich style wine made with a buttery quality to it. A great wine to pair with that would be a nice, uh, nice rich Chardonnay. Uh, a great example of a nice rich Chardonnay that I have, um, I love it because it's also from the Hudson Valley, grown and vinted right up in Gardner, New York, is a white cliff Chardonnay. It's got some nice oak treatment to it. It's seen some oak, so it's got a nice, really rich, buttery quality to it, and it would stand up beautiful to those dishes I just described. Next, I want to talk about, say, a nice lifestyle food, a nice white fish, and maybe a pan-seared flounder. You don't want something too heavy to overshadow the, the soft, uh, delicate flavors of that flounder. You want something light. Um, say, if you pan-sear the flounder, put a little lime juice on top or lemon juice. Um, a great example of something to complement that dish is a nice Sauvignon Blanc. This is uh, from California, from the Dry Creek Vineyard. It's their Fumé Blanc. It's another name for Sauvignon Blanc. But it has nice citrus flavors and also has some nice acidity to it because there's going to be some acidity in that lemon juice on top of the, um, on top of the fish. So this will be a nice complement to that. There's nice citrus flavors to complement the, the lemon juice but also with a nice acidity. So in any event, that's couple examples of complementing the flavors of the wine. I just want to lastly talk about contrasting the flavors. Say if you have a nice spicy dish, a nice spicy noodle dish perhaps, a nice Asian spicy noodle dish. Uh, you may want to have something uh, sweet to contrast the flavors of the spiciness. Um, a great example of something that would work well with that is a, a German Riesling uh, with a little bit of sweetness to it. This is uh, Dr. Herman. It's got nice uh, complexity to it, a little bit of sweetness, uh, and it would be a beautiful complement or um, it would be a beautiful contrasting element to that wine and food pairing. So in any event, if you want any additional information, you can visit my website at freewinetip.com, and thanks for tuning in.